This is an incomplete video looking at Cyclone Fanny. I've run out of time. Um, here we're actually flying into Cyclone Kenneth and the eye as seen by Sentinel-2 on the 25th of April. Cyclones Kenneth and Lorna in the Southern Hemisphere have both weakened below tropical storm intensity. And that leaves Cyclone Fanny in the Bay of Bengal. And that is what we're looking at right here. And I'm going to draw on, okay, so there is India. And if we go up towards the north, we've got Bangladesh up here. Satellite-based estimates indicate that Fanny is at just got into, into Category 2 hurricane intensity. The current JTWC Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecast indicates landfall at the 3rd of May at 6Z and the intensity at that time is 105 knots. That makes it a Category 3 hurricane. That's a major hurricane landfall and the state is Northern Andhra Pradesh and Orissa before the storm heads into West Bengal. And as you can see, there is Kolkata, a enormous city that is um, in the path of the weakening storm, according to this forecast. It's worth noting that any change in this track would lead to a large difference in where the storm makes landfall. So you can imagine that if it were to go slightly to the right, then it would head and impact West Bengal and Bangladesh to a much greater extent. Or if it went to the left, it would head into land more quickly and weaken. Let's take a look at the Hurricane Wharf. This is the latest initialization at 06 UTC. That is basically this afternoon, April 30th. And we're looking for the colors. Anywhere that's purple is above hurricane force. And if it gets into the pinks, we're talking major hurricane, uh, category three or stronger. Going forward, we see the storm intensifying and going over 100 knots at on the 1st of May. And then uh, this model has it weakening a little bit and then re-strengthening prior to landfall. And the final shot, oh, it's actually coming in as I'm doing this because it's updated. I can't see a wind barb with two solid triangles, so that is indicating slightly below 100 knots at landfall. Um, I mean, really, that looks like a, a Category 3 hurricane landfall. The coastline is shown, roughly speaking, along here. The water temperatures ahead of the storm are around a degree above, degree Celsius above normal, which is indicated by the oranges in this plot. However, when I say normal, I mean this is just the difference between an average from 2003 through 2014, and that is already a warmed ocean average base level. That is to say that we're looking at the difference from an already warmed ocean. The actual sea surface temperatures are very warm under the storm right now. They are over 30 degrees Celsius by the looks of things. And it looks like it's a little cooler by the coast, but even those blues are still around 28 Celsius. And we see that in the maximum potential intensity, which is a estimate for the maximum intensity in attainable by the storm based on the thermodynamic conditions. And it is at a category five intensity indicated by the uh, blues here. So anywhere where it's blue or dark blue, this is areas where it can theoretically attain category five intensity while when you get into the slightly cooler waters then it's category four either way it's clear that this the thermodynamic environment is enough to sustain a major hurricane landfall anywhere in this region all right let's look at the latest gfs to see and get an idea of where is the most likely landfall based on the current forecast so i'm going to put in a little cross where it's making landfall so this is the european model and it shows landfall at just very slightly to 
the east of the GFS. However, the GFS, I think, is updated more recently. Either way, they're in fairly decent agreement that it will be along this section of coast at this point. Looking at the map in more detail, we can see that the GFS landfall is, there's that notch there, and Vizakapatnam is sort of in this, this region here. Jumping back to the JTWC track, we can see that they actually are further down the coast with their landfall, so that um, shows you just how much a small change in track of the storm could change the location of landfall by a, a long distance indeed. The worst impacts, of course, will be at where this storm makes landfall, wherever it ends up making landfall. But with the, with the track going at an angle to the coast and passing in over West Bengal and possibly into Bangladesh, um, we're talking tens to hundreds of millions of people affected by this storm. So it's an extremely serious looking situation.